right, it's uh, it's January the thirtieth. Should we? It's January the thirtieth. Um, let's see you. I didn't block you off of there, did? Yeah. January the thirtieth, and um, uh, we're doing. We're back to our regular schedule. We're doing. Trying to do it seven days a week. We do, and uh, the way the, the workouts are set up, they're set up from green to blue to yellow to orange to red. Green being the easiest, red being the hardest. And so we took all the green and blue workouts and put them on, on one piece of paper. Took all the yellow workouts, put them on another piece of paper, and took all the red workouts and put them on another piece of paper. And then I use a the Google number, random number maker to pick the workouts and and today we're trying to schedule a two blues, two reds and three yellows for the week. We'll try to schedule them out and the, the number today chose a blue by Jim Mabes. So I think it's November of 17, November 7th or something. So it's an hour long blue. Um, I promise you that it, it, at the end of this it, that we are going to be stretched out. Jim Mabes, uh, he really stretches you out. So, so this is all to be exciting. Uh, everybody on your back in pinfall, please. Pinfall, dude. So hands on your belly, left hand on your belly button, just below your belly button. And right hand on your chest, right under your where your uh, pectoral is, or where your heart would be on the right side if your heart were on the right side. <laughs> Want to take a couple of breaths, get rid of the day. <laughs> this is their life. Take a nice deep You're breath good dogs. in. Feel your belly rise. And count it back with me. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Another deep breath in. Make your belly rise. And count it back. Three, Three two, 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 two. Now a little bit deeper breath. Breathe in. And count it back. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. One more of those. Breathe in. And count it back. Five. Five. Four, three, two, two one. Now, deepest breath of the day. Deepest breath of the day. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in, and count it back. Eight, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Take a deep breath in. We're going back to a five count. And count it back. Five, five four, four, three, two, two one. one. One more breath. Now, one more time, switch, pull the right leg in and straighten the 
the left leg. Good job, good job. Now, slowly roll over and let's come up on all fours. And I'll start the boss with music. So, on all fours, inhale, cat lift. Exhale, cat arch. Now, cat arch, look back at your belly button and try to push your, your, your arch back to the ceiling. Inhale, cat lift. Try to lift at your ceiling and push your belly button to the ground. Exhale, cat arch. Inhale, cat lift. One more. Exhale, cat arch. Go back to neutral. Take a deep breath here, push the left leg back, bring the right hand out like you're shaking hands with somebody. And we're going to start to warm the core up here a little bit. You guys feeling good here? Good, you feel real good? Everybody feeling strong today? Feeling really, really super strong? You're feeling really, really super strong? Bring that left hand out in front of you too. Take a deep breath here, count it back. Six, Six five. five. Come swooping around. Is this 
time, bring the right leg in the air and reach back out with the left hand like you're taking hands with somebody. You guys hang out right here for a minute. <laughs> Bend that right knee, reach behind you with the left hand, grab the ankle, look over the left shoulder, try to straighten the right leg, keep the right arm straight. There you go again. All these things you gotta do. Take a deep breath here and count it back. Six, five, five four, three, two, two one. one. Right back down the middle. Deep breath here and count it back. Six, Six five, five, four, three, two, one. one. Drop everything to the mat and wag the tail on the dog. Holy macaroni, we got a lot of people in the green. That's a good thing. Now take your right knee and put it under your right hip. Right hand under right shoulder. Push your left foot back. Pin it to the mat. Reach to the ceiling with your left hand. And you're going, why is he yelling? Now remember how good this feels like? This will be the easiest thing that we do, right? Take a deep breath here and enjoy. Now raise that left foot off the mat. Two inches. All back and forth. Two inches. Take a deep breath here. Now bend that left leg. Reach down with your left hand. Grab the ankle. Try to straighten the leg. Keep the right arm straight. You quit. Kind of look up. It's going to be a nice challenge for your core. Definitely going to start turning things on. Definitely going to start building some heat. Deep breath, right back to the baby arm balance. Foot straight, hand in the air, drop your foot, reach to the front of the room with your left hand, pull the left hand and left foot away from each other. Try to roll the shoulder open so that you can look up at the ceiling. Right, bring your hand back to the ceiling. Deep breath. Come swooping around, both hands on the mat. Bring the left foot off the mat. Reach forward with your right hand. Take a deep breath here. Reach behind you as you bend the left knee. Grab the left ankle with the right hand. Look over the right shoulder. Keep the left arm straight. Try to straighten the left leg. Take a deep breath here and count it back. Six, Six five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Right back down the middle. Deep breath and count it back. Six, Six five, four, three, two, one. one. Drop everything to the mat. Wag the tail on the dog. Be sure you check your monitor up on the stage. If you're in the red, just back off a little bit. All right, now here we go with a little bit of fun. Push into your hands, curl your toes under, and push right up into down dog, but keep your knees bent. We've been working on shoulders. We haven't done very much getting the legs warm, so let's get the legs warm. Start to walk the dog back and forth. Straighten one leg, bend the other, and reverse. Back and forth, just walk the dog a little bit. Start to stretch out the Achilles, all those tendons and connectors in your foot, your calves, behind your knee. Push into your hands. Take a deep breath here. Now, while we're here, let's just take a little detour. You want to? Take that left hand, reach back and grab your right knee. Look under your right arm up at the ceiling. And just hang out. Deep breath, count it back. Six, Six five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Hand back to the mat. What do you think? You like the detour? No, I don't even know what we're doing. The bridge was out. We had to do it. Take a deep breath here. Right hand outside the right knee, I mean the left knee, and look up under your left arm. See if you can see the ceiling. Take a deep breath here and count it back. Six, Six five, five, four, four three, three, two. two. That hurt 
Right back into down dog. Both hands 
legs on your knee. Sit up nice and straight. And then I want you to kind of put the knee to me. Ooh, start to feel stretching going. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's a, one of those little nooks and crannies that we're looking for. Now, come back up. Hands to the mat. Turn your toe out at about a 35 degree angle. Right hand on the outside, close to the outside edge of the mat. Take a deep breath and raise the left hand to the ceiling. Take a deep breath here and count it back. Six, Six five, five, four, four three, three, two, one. Come on, come back down. Now hands where they would be between your legs. Deep breath. Take your right forearm and just drop it on the mat. Now you know what? That may be enough. Your hip may say, done. It's over. Stick a fork in it. I'm, uh, I'm done. If you need a little more, drop the left arm. Clasp the hands. And have a nice little dialogue there with the left hip. Anybody get talking to him? Mm -hmm. Is it saying nice things or ugly things? Ugly things. Ugly things. That's because all day long, we either stick all that crap that we take on in our shoulders or our hips. So we got to let it out. It's like opening a bag, you let a little bit out, a little bit out. Now, come back up on, walk your hands back up. Walk your foot back where it's down the middle a little bit, pointing down the middle. Now from here, bend that right knee. Take the right hand, reach back, and grab your foot if you can, and pull it in and see if you can get the see if you can get your right quad to have a nice conversation with you. Yeah? If you can't do it, just try to do it. Now, release, take a deep breath here, and push right up into runner's lunge. Take a deep breath here, and we're going to explode. Count it back with me from 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. one. Explode. <coughs> Keep that right leg in the air. Right leg in the air. Here I am dancing across the stage. Deep breath. Drop everything. Feet together. Hands to a touchdown. Drop the left and straight to the right. Might go a little deeper this time than the first time we visited. Yep. Anybody? Inhale back up into touchdown. Drop the right, straight to the left. Now, back up in the tuck, spread those feet to the distance. Take your hand into diamond cover. Inhale, diamond cover up overhead. Arms out to a C. Make some noise. <coughs> Inhale, shoulders back, chest out. And right to the left. Inhale, bent legged bar back. Exhale, hands to the mat. Pop right back into plank. Again, go to your knees if you need to. Deep breath here and count it back. Three, three two, two, one. Hold for three, three two, two, one. Going up. Three, two, one. Going down. Three, three two, two, two. Three, two, two. Hold for three, two, two. All the way down. Inhale and the cobra. Exhale, chin to the mat. Curl your toes under. Push right into down dog. Walk your toes in just a smidge. Raise that right foot to the sky. Sweep it through. Drop to the left knee. Both hands on your knees. Come up. Push the right knee to the front of the room. And there should be a little drawing stretch going on on the left side. Eight. Back up. Hands inside your feet. Left forearm on the mat. 
and that may be where you decide to say you can turn your toe out just a little bit toward the outside edge of the mat if you want to. If you want to go a little bit deeper, drop the other forearm on the mat. But whatever is comfortable right now. We're still, let's see, we're 20 minutes in, so we're still trying to get warm just a little bit. Deep breath here. Walk your hands back up down the middle. Readjust your feet. Come back up, right hand on right knee. Bend that left leg, reach back with your left hand. Pull your foot towards your butt. Get a nice stretch going in the left quad. And use your block. Good. out a little bit. Want to pull, want to pull the fascia away from the kneecap a little bit. Get a nice stretch here. Now, deep breath. Drop everything back to the mat. Hands on the mat in runner's lunge. Pull the knee up. Deep breath. And count back with me in 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 6, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Explode. <sighs> Cobra. It's all the same. 
trying to scrape your leg, <clears throat> which is going to pull your chest up and pull your the outside of your shoulders toward the middle of your back. <clears throat> and the center of your back is going to go, whoa, everything is coming closer. <clears throat> Deep breath here, count it back. Eight, seven, seven six, six, five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Four.
Yeah, we're gonna do some mountain climbers from here. You guys ready? Ready. ready. Here we go. One. 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 Two. 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 One. Three. One. Three. One. Four. One. Five. One. Six. One. Seven. One. Eight. One. Nine. One. Ten. Right back in the plank. Hang out for ten. Nine. Eight. eight seven. Six. six five, five. Four. four three. three Two, one. Quit. All the way down. Quit, dude. Quit. 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 Quit.
we're going to take the left side of our nose and we're going to think about putting it to the right, to the outside of that right knee, okay? So as you exhale and fold forward, your nose is going to the outside. You're going to feel a little teeny tiny twist on the right side. Got it? So why did I have to describe it that way? I had you not know, but it seems to work. You seem to get the feeling that we're looking for. And I describe it like that. Dude. Dude. And those two people are going to have Quit. a bad image, so don't be comparing yourself Dude. to somebody because Dude. there is no yoga Dude. Olympics. And this is not the tryout for them. So who's starting to feel the stretch around the, behind the knee? Got it? So here's what I read today. While we're hanging out here, I'll, I'll share a little story with you. I, I was reading uh, just some crazy things on the news, and they, they found out that if they put a really, really bright light, scientists have found this out, if they put a really, Quit. really bright light behind your knee, they can reset your Quit. go to sleep and your wake up clock. Quit. Get out of here. Quit. Leave that alone. Who would have thought that behind your knees would be that thing? Dude. Quit. No. Now, slowly, slowly, release and come back up. No. Take your hands and put them under your knee. Pull your knees to you. And then place your feet on the edge of your mat. Now take your hands, put them behind you. Fingers pointing toward the front of the room, right? Deep breath here. Now, we're just going to windshield wiper your legs to the left. You're going to look to the right. And we're going back the other way. That ought to feel pretty good in the hip. Back and forth. Okay, back and forth a couple no. of times. Mm. Kind of on your own. We're, this is like a self paced class in college, right? You're self paced <sighs> your own DDT yoga workout right now. This is on you. Mm. All right, you got your hips loosened up? Everybody? Everybody? Yeah? All right, so walk your hands in just a little bit. Now, let's look at, you know, we do figure four in here sometimes. Sometimes we do can open it. Let's do a little something different that may be a little more accessible sometimes. So push your feet to the front of the room. Take that left leg. Put the knee, I mean, put your uh, left ankle on the right knee. Now, pull that right leg back in. Wherever it feels comfortable, you'll start to feel it in your hip, yeah? So I want you to think about pointing the knee to the front of the room, too. 
bend the hip is really going to start talking to you a little bit, yeah? So this is kind of like a modification of figure four and can opener and pigeon and all those other things that people do. We're just going to let this hang out and kind of set for a little bit. Uh, in fact, I got my eye on the clock. There's a reason that I'm doing this. I remember I told you shoulders and hips are where we put all the stuff that we take on emotionally and, and uh, throughout the day when people throw things at us. A little bit longer. Now release and switch sides. So right foot over left knee, pull your uh, left foot in, just until you feel your right hip start to say uncle, right? Kind of pushing your knee to the front of the room, you're going to feel it say, you're going to hear it say uncle there, not feel it, you're going to hear it. Got it? Kind of cool? I thought it was kind of cool, kind of, kind of an easy way to access. And you, you know what? You can do this while you're watching TV. I do it all the time when I'm watching the break, especially when they start losing. Just a little bit longer. Breathe into the area that's tight. You breathe into that area a little bit, you'll start to feel loosen up. All right, now release, come back up. Now let's flip over on our knees and come right up into kneeling touchdown. Take a deep breath here. Now reach the right hand to the front of the room, left hand to the back of the room. Oh my goodness, and you're looking at the left wall. How did that happen? Drop the left hand on the left heel, take the right hand to the ceiling, look up, and then look back where the wall and the ceiling come together. There's a line up there. See it? Where the brick and the black come together? Now, you feel the stretch on the right side? There's something magical about that line. Deep breath. Now, come back up. <coughs> Come right back around. Pause. And we're going the other way. Drop the right hand on the right heel. Reach your left hand to the ceiling. Look back where the line and the wall and the ceiling come together. Feel a stretch on the left side. Now come back up. Right back around. Hands on the mat. Curl your toes under. And just walk yourself right up into catcher. Now how easy was that? So from here, bring your hands together. Interlace your fingers. Push your arms straight. Bring your hands up over your head. If you can get your biceps behind your ears, that's awesome. Take a deep breath here and count it back. 12, 12 11, 11, 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 6 5, 5, 5, 5, 4, 3, 3 2, 2, 1. 1. Now drop your hands to the mat. Now watch this. Just push your legs straight. Show me how that feels. Pretty good, eh? Now push your feet out to the edge of the mat. Reach your hands behind your back, clasp your hands, straighten your arms, and try to pull your hands over the top of your head. We're going to start to rain the shoulders out. Anybody feel it in the shoulders? Anybody get a spine pop or two? I just did. Breathe in your shoulders. You'll start to feel a little bit of release. Now, pay attention to where your fingers are. Your left finger, your left index finger is on top of your right. Then I want you to release your hands and reverse it. Put the right one on top of the left. Or vice versa, depending on where your hands were. 
Clap your hands again, straighten That's your arms, try to pull your hands over the top of your head. We got to read both sides out.
guys did a great job. Now when you finish the cycles of breath, I want you to think about three things that you're grateful for today. So basically we've gone through the positions that reset your body and by being grateful and expressing gratefulness, that will sync your brain and your body together. It'll, it'll sync everything up. So we're hitting the reset button on everything, okay? That's an hour with Jim Mabes. See you next time.